So I have my four foot level. You see it is level. So the floor is level, but my wall is not. Because there's this gap that I thought, oh, I'll just shim that and click it up to the wall. Every time I did that, it got unlevel. So I said to myself, oh, we checked the wall. Ooh, I need to look at this bubble. You can see how far out. So I've got a gap there, which I will fill in later. Probably with compound, maybe a trim piece. I tried with the shims, but it wasn't quite lining up. So I added the shims to the backside so that when I screw to the stud, it's something solid and it's not gonna throw the cabinets off. So I lost my drill bits. What are you gonna do? And you wanna pre-drill before you screw into the cabinets because you don't want them to split. Once they split, you can't fix. And you spend too much money to replace. So I uh, took a little break, had some lunch, found my second set of drill bits. Ooh, fancy. I pre-drilled here. And I shimmed in the back. Let's see now, level, it's not going to focus for me, it's also level in the back and level on both ends. I had to put a tiny shim in the back, over there, and then two in the front. So now my first cabinet is all square. I just need to finish screwing it to the wall and the studs. And then I can add the next one to it and then keep moving. I'll probably start with the sink one after this. But I'm running close to my PT time. So I don't know how much I'm gonna get done before that. Sorry, I'm gonna log off and get that done. All right, so it's not quite lining up. So what I'm probably gonna do is switch it up. I can leave the tool holes in place. What I'm finding is this next cabinet is a little higher than the one before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach these two together and then come back and get this level. You know, I've never done this before. So it's trial and error and it's my cabinet, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist. <sighs> Kids. So I will try it that way this time. Your heart math, please. Your heart math? Yeah. Your heart math? Yeah. I don't know what a heart math is. The math. Mask? Yeah, the, the heart. That looks like a heart? Yeah. Oh, they're Christmas presents, What's but not got? for you. What's it? The I put them away so that I won't lose them. I'm trying to be proactive about Christmas presents with the teachers. Anywho, I realized that they did blocking behind the cabinets. So I'm not actually hitting studs. I could tell by the way the screws were pulling, it wasn't gripping into anything. So the side is fine. I do have a stud here. I have a stud here and I have one over here. I, I actually can't get it to ring over here. So that's kind of concerning. There is one next to here, and then there's another one over here. So I'm gonna have to add blocking to the back, 
um, just to cover the distance between the studs. And then I can screw the cabinets into that backing. So it's gonna push everything forward. If I do that one by four, it's gonna push everything forward by like one. So I'm gonna to have to double check on the other walls before I just go for it. Tricky spots, tricky spots. So I think I gotta to go to my appointment first. Well, it's just a bunch of problem solving, trial and error. Like I said, never done it before. Oh no, why not? Why are all kids speak with British accents? Because all the good kids shows are British, Australian, at least the ones that aren't completely annoying, like can you? All right, I gotta go.